Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today, we're discussing a model launched in 2003 that represents something like the best value in sports complications, possibly the best value in complications, period. Among pre-owned watches, the Ulysse Nordin Marine Annual Calendar Chronograph is one of the best buy if you want maximum complication for minimum dollars. The watch is 40 millimeters in stainless steel and sits easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. It's very short lug to lug, surprisingly so, at 43.4 millimeters. That is remarkably short cropped for a 40 millimeter case. It's also reasonably thin, despite the modular complication only 13.4 millimeters thick. The watch is easy to wear, and as you can see on my wrist, this timepiece is very comfortable. You can see just how short across the wrist it really is and how those lugs barely project beyond the case. It wears almost like a lugless watch. The timepiece is equipped with a substantial Ulysse Nordin black gloss, large rectangular scale, monotone stitch, sheer edged alligator leather strap with a calfskin underlay. A new Ulysse Nordin factory strap. You can see it features a stainless steel Ulysse Nordin branded pin buckle to complement the case. In 1996, Ulysse Nordin landed on the idea of creating modern day wristwatches that were effectively in the image of its 19th century and early to mid 20th century navigation clocks or marine chronometers. The result was a number of features Uncommon to other brands, but almost universal at Ulysse Nordin. You could see the combination of the negative camber of the case, which bows inward from its bezel down to its base. The fact that there is a bolt fixed, hand engraved and lacquered individual numbering plate on the flank. And then there's the coined profile to the bezel. The timepiece featuring a white dial, it's a sort of matte white, not silver, but true white, with a tachymeter flange outboard. And that can be used in conjunction with the chronograph to gauge the speed of an object, as you can see with the calibration up to 500 units, a relatively fast moving object. But the tachymeter is just the beginning. You also have a chronograph with true screw down crown and chronograph pushers, you have 100 meter water resistance, you have automatic winding, you have that chronograph with a vertical clutch so you can leave it running without any additional wear or tear or damage to the movement and you can start it without any jump or stagger thanks to the vertical clutch system that's employed. There is also an annual calendar as you can see you have a big double digit date and then you have a very subtle fashion down at 430 the month and if this looks like a familiar layout to you, the chronograph with the big double digit date and the month hiding down at 4.30? Well, that's because this Dubois de Praz annual calendar chronograph system is very similar to the one fit to the Richard Mill RM11, which only costs about $140,000 more than this watch. The timepiece is nicely graced with a combination of blue, white, silver, and red accents on its dial. White is dominant. You can see the attention to detail is superb, as the individual loomed indices feature small blue outlines so that they stand out more distinctly against the dial. The numerals are an embossed part of the dial, but they're raised with white flanks and and a very dark blue top. You can see the extravagant blue metallic hands and the red varnish tip of the chronograph seconds. There is an applique polished steel, rhodium plated Ulysse Nordin anchor logo and the timepiece all in steel with a solid case back featuring a circular concentric brushed graining. It's beautiful and it depicts 18 gold medals won historically by Ulysse Nordin at international chronometry competitions. Underneath the case back, which I should mention, features these exquisite and as far as I've seen, unique blue case back fixing bolts. That's the only time I've ever seen that. But there is a Ulysse Nordin caliber 51 in there, which is based on the ETA 2892A2, automatic winding, 42 hour power reserve. It has hacking or stop seconds. It has a beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour or eight beats per second. It features the annual calendar capability, which needs adjustment only once per year during the jump from February to March. It handles all other irregular length months. And then you have that vertical clutch chronograph system included. This is a watch that puts it all together. Go ahead, quickly, check out what a Richard Mill RM11 costs. And now realize that that watch is not 100 meters water resistant, as is this Ulysse Nordin Marine annual calendar chronograph. Check out what a Patek Philippe perpetual calendar chronograph costs. And then tell me, is it loomed? Is it swimmable? 
I don't know. This is almost a unique proposition. See it and make it yours for very little coin on the watch box. Ulysse Nardin, annual calendar chronograph. Note that the chronograph minute and hour hands are loomed. Easy to read, day or night.